Hello, I'm here to tell you about Photo Widget, which is a uh, widget app that enables you to decorate your home screen with photos in your phone. So I'm gonna tell you how to use it, and I'm gonna answer you the most frequently asked question about this app. So once you start the app, it's gonna ask the um, access to your photos on your phone, and obviously you have to um, allow it. So allow access to all photos, and then you get to see a simple tutorial on how to use the app, and you skim through it. And that's the tutorial. So first thing you have to do is uh, create an album. So you create an album. So once you go into my album, you can add all the pictures from your phone, whatever you want, as many as you want. I'm gonna click load new photos, and I have all these pictures of food. And I'm gonna add this one, this one. So you can add as many as you want. And then you have all these pictures, and then you look through all these albums. And also you can delete all these pictures. You can go manage, delete photo, and you can delete, I don't want it. this one, this one, this one. So I'm gonna have these five pictures on my widget complete. And then you can also create other albums with different themes. pictures don't forget if you delete your photos on your phone original photo the photos on your widget will be automatically deleted as well this is how you add photos on your widget so you press hard phone screen and the top left part there's a plus button from here you can actually browse through all the widgets on your phone you can find the photo widget at the bottom of the um, list or you can even search for it Widget, and there is a one so there are many options once you start the photo widget if you go to far right there's a one option called basic widgets with a white background on it they don't provide any more updates or bug fixes for these versions so make sure to use the ones with the rainbowy background so that you can keep updates and bug fixes as well so I'm gonna pick this white one press add widget and then I can place it on the top of the Screen. Okay, I can place it at the bottom or anywhere you want. And then I'm gonna add another one to have a different size of it. And I'm gonna put the square one at the bottom of the mid size one. And I'm gonna put it at the bottom. You can actually put as many as photo widget as you want on your home screen. You can edit photo widget on screen. So first thing, you press hard on photo widget and then you get three options. So you pick the edit widget. So for this white photo widget, I'm gonna pick the my album one. So you pick the widget album option and then you pick the my album option. And then right below it, there's an option called photo refresh interval. If you click on it, and I'm gonna put 30 minutes and you can actually set time intervals of album for different for every single widget as well so you can have one for like an hour one for 20 minutes one for 10 minutes and all this depending on time intervals every single one of these photo widgets are gonna have different pictures at every different time of period so i'm gonna answer you the most frequently asked questions about this app first question People are asking why photos on widgets are keep being deleted. Photo widgets brings in the pictures from your phone. It doesn't copy the photo from your phone to photo widget photo. Um, they created it in this way so that you can save the hard drive space because having the copies of same picture in two different apps doesn't make sense for them. So if you delete your original photo on your device, it's gonna delete the picture on your app as well and it's to save your phone uh, memory. Second question is people are asking they can add pictures on the album. This is because you didn't allow the access to your photo album. So when you first start the app, it's gonna ask you to allow the access from your photo album. Which is the reason is that the app is using the photo straight from your photo album. So if you wanna use this app, make sure to go to the settings and make sure your app to allow to access your photo album. The third question they're asking is um, people want to change the size of photo by the size of widget 
and they want to customize order of picture as they want they don't provide this functionality yet apparently there's a um, few technical complexity to this functionality and um, they are working on it really hard to provide this functionality so make sure to keep on updating your app until then there is a preview function when you add the pictures to your album there's a preview functionality. You can see the pictures in a medium, small, or large version so that you can see how your picture is gonna be seen on your widget when it's applied. Fourth question, some people are having problem. Apparently they can see the widget edit menu. Do you remember when I first went through the widget menu? At the far right side, there's a widget menu with a white background. And this is because you apply the basic widget, which doesn't provide any more updates. So make sure you use the rainbow background widget so that you can use the functionality of editing widget as well. Fifth problem people have been asking is that widgets are blinking or it turns to black or it says fail to load message on a widget or sometimes people can find photo widget on the widget list. This is iOS 14 but they suggest that you either update iOS 14 or you either try to restart the phone or reinstall the app. Sixth question is that people want to have only one picture showing the same picture in one widget at all time. Make sure to add one picture in the album. Seventh question is people have been complaining that the photo edits that they performed inside of the app has been applied to the widget immediately. For example, they add pictures or they delete pictures in an album even though they did that they can't see the immediate change in the photo widget. In this case, you go immediately go to app and there's a setting button and then there's an option called adjust widget to current settings. And if you click on that, the change will be applied immediately to Thank you for listening. If you have more questions or problems about the app, feel free to contact them or ask more questions about the app to the Instagram iOS.photowidget.